and Cleverly. And you'll see that Cleverly had a four-year age advantage going into the fight, a height advantage of... A sellout crowd in the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff, Wales, for the matchup between Nathan Cleverly. 170 enters with nine knockouts in his last 10 fights, eight of those knockouts within. He has emerged as one of the most impressive punchers in boxing. Cleverly longer, a high volume puncher, maybe slightly in puncher than Kovalev, but a big question here, can Cleverly hit hard enough to get Kovalev's attention and keep him off of him? Work rate right in round number one, and Kovalev is letting his hands go early. Two left hooks by Kovalev, knocking Kovalev. He Cleverly. only ever has two questions, the date and the weight. So confident is Kovalev in his ability right now. Again, for his part, agrees with Kovalev. Kovalev's the most dangerous challenge at light heavyweight. But Cleverly says at age 26, he's built up enough experience to be let off. Roy Jones, what do you see in the early going? So far, I don't see Cleverly doing what I would like to see him do. He's taken a lot of punches from Kovalev, more than I'm used to seeing him put out. But at the same time, I would think Cleverly would have used his height advantage and power his shots early and tried to outbox the stronger puncher early. However, this may not be his plan. His plan may be to work him down, take him into deep water, and try to beat him. That began to give him a little bit of distance and uh, broke up Kovalev. Kovalev, tremendously aggressive in the early not? given the confidence he's built for himself in his last several fights. And Jim, you mentioned you think Kovalev has subtle skill that he's not given credit for in terms of his Step, timing. Steps back he takes so he doesn't take as many counters, maybe fewer than people realize. You receive and timing, I think, has bothered Cleverly early. Well, it has, to me, I don't understand why Cleverly is fighting this fight like he's a puncher and staying right in front of Kovalev. That's that we're not sure of. CompuBox numbers already crediting Kovalev with landing. Cleverly's been getting off a little bit too in the last minute, but Kovalev remains the aggressor as you right see there. Cleverly back into the corner. Body shot from Kovalev. He's been mixing it up upstairs and downstairs. That was a terrific first round. Cleverly's trainer is his father, Vince Cleverly. Kovalev got off 95 punches. Landed 35 of them by CompuBox count. He begins round two with the right hand. Cleverly was 13 of 55. Punches He's the guy round in. coming in. So the early initiative was definitely seized here by Sergei Kovalev. We've been past eight rounds. And uh, Cleverly's game plan is to see how he does after eight that. Eight rounds comes into play. Right now, he's very red around the eyes, very red around the forehead area. The shoulder, the left which shoulder. Means there was punishment early. Yeah, it might not be a ninth round. Sergey Kovalev from Caleb and Don Pins Turner's Eastern North Carolina camp in 2009. One of his first questions for Turner was, I'm not sure I punch hard enough for professional boxing. After a few days, Turner said, Rest assured, young man. And he's cut over his right eye already. I'm not sure if it's a headbutt or a punch. The jab of Cleverly, which has been good when he's allowed his left hand to go. Is that over the eye roll? Kovalev was the one who's landing all the leather in the first round, but he's the one who's bleeding on a cut above the right eye. It's playing because a lot of times when a puncher sees that he can't really hurt you, it gives him a problem or it takes away from something. Kovalev's mouthpiece drops. Trainerton puts it back in. Does it for a guy? Kovalev, though, Roy, is, does a good Mixing job. it up to the body and getting some clean body shots in along the way. So even if you can take the shots Kovalev upstairs. Has been cut in a professional fight. Roy Jones, Kovalev's trainer now is your friend, John David Jackson, who was to be a trainer by the late, great George Benton, has been known throughout his career. Defensive master. And there's Cleverly landing a solid straight right hand. Have very little defense. So when you go get a defensive guy to help train that puncher, you make him into a true, de truly devastating and defense to match it. However, right here what I'm seeing is that Kovalev is throwing a lot of punches, more than he should. Cleverly landed one right hand and it drew oohs and ahs because he's been hit so far, Kovalev has, through the first two rounds. September 28, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. returns to the ring against hard-charging Bryant. You were the champ, come on. Now we couldn't see we're doing the cut work in Kovalev's corner, but our notes say 
that it is the longtime veteran Don Turner, Holyfield, and a number of other noteworthy fighters. And Don is a complete pro who certainly is capable of doing a great job. From earlier, Roy, it remains to be seen here how Kovalev relaxed in the corner to me, maybe a little concerned. He's cut for the first time. He threw his mouth in the corner, not panting, but he's throwing a lot of punches. Cleverly, however, as you can tell, is looking forward to pushing them into the deep water. Cleverly, obviously, he that Kovalev can hold up for more than eight rounds, or he wouldn't be taking all these punches, all, all these punches this early. He's taking a lot of punishment early to put out more than he's used to having to do. Kovalev landed 35 of 95 punches and has averaged 90 punches thrown per round. Cleverly, average only 44 punches per round. He's 24 after two rounds, and he's the guy who coming in had shown a very With a lot of punch output in his last few fights. Big right hand over the top by Kovalev, just missed, landing solidly. Yeah, but as he threw that right hand, Jim, that's the first hard punch he had thrown in a moment. His punches are starting to lose steam. He throws one hard yeah, right the steam on him that they had in round one. Only that right hand, but Cleverly's, Cleverly's playing. Yeah, and Cleverly's gone 12 rounds five times in front of crowds who supported him like this one. It's Kovalev who's on the road. Hard left hook by Kovalev, momentarily stunned Cleverly. Comes back with another barrage, trying to go to the body to further weaken Cleverly after that big left hook. And great body work by, by Kovalev as well. Hard right hand and down goes Cleverly. As we thought Kovalev might be wilting a little bit. He He's another powerful burst. He better go ahead and try to finish because if he doesn't, He's going to have his hands full in the next two or three rounds. And how he goes about trying to finish him could be key. Punching himself out, mixing it up downstairs. Down again, cleverly in the round. These are the first two knockdowns of his professional career. I think he's in bad trouble he down at the end. He got while he was down. Oh, body shot. Bad body shot. There, Kovalev showing good sticks, throwing that hard hook to the body. Both previous performances this year were third round knockouts. And, and this, this referee may have stopped the fight. I can't tell. Big save by the Belgium. Consecutive third round knockout. Kovalev. There's the left hook. It started all the damage. And Roy. That punch. It was a cross jab. But I think he'll finish him now because he did go to the body very good that round. I think that'll help weaken Cleverly even more. And as round four begins... Yeah, he's going at the body. He knows he hurt Cleverly to the body at the end of that last round. And body shots are not easy to recover from like head shots are. Too much. This is too Kovalev much. Kovalev has a fourth round TKO, and he made it look easy. A little Very bit later this fall, newly installed light heavyweight lineal champion Adonis Stevenson has a test it's coming up. Cloud. If Stevenson can bet past Cloud, the clamor for Stevenson to fight Four Kovalev. punchers that you can make in boxing right now. I agree. All right, Roy Jones, take us through the replays. Well, he threw a right hand right here. As he threw this right hand, he missed. He came out with a cross hook. Yeah, that right hook there already. Really, but he hit him with a cross jab really and hurt him. He just followed up on his work. He hit him with a good left hook on the back of the head. Cleverly was pretty much done, weakened. And the body shots really... Well, if there was any question about whether Sergei Kovalev was for real enough to function a hostile environment against a world-class opponent, that question has been wiped out. Totally. So it's the 10th knockout in the last 11 fights. wins and 20 knockouts. And nine of those 10 knockouts in the last 11 fights have come within four. All right, Roy Jones, take us through the replays. Well, he threw a right hand right here. As he threw this right hand, he missed. He came out with a cross hook. That right hook there already. Really, but he hit him with a cross jab really and hurt him. He just followed up on his work, hit him with a good left hook on the back of the head. Cleverly was pretty much done, weakened, and the body shots really... Well, if there was any question about whether Sergei Kovalev was for real enough to function a hostile yeah. environment against a world-class opponent, that question has been wiped out. Totally. To come within four rounds or less. The, the, the and, and against opponents like Campillo and Cleverly, who both know how to defend themselves. Exactly. The maneuvers, taking half steps back, as we mentioned, that, you know, he's winning the rounds as he's beating the guy. All right, Roy Jones, take us through the replays. Well, he threw a right hand right here. As he threw this right hand, he missed. He came out with a cross hook. That right hook there really already. Hurt. But he hit him with a cross jab really and hurt him. He just followed up on his work. He hit him with a good left hook on the back of the head. Cleverly was pretty much done, weakened, and the body shots really... 
Well, if there was any question about whether Sergei Kovalev was for real enough to function a hostile environment against a world-class opponent, that question has been wiped out. Totally. What a story. Sergey Kovalev.